Hi there, Tin from Can here. Today we're going to have a look at the light cargo pet barrier for the LC300. So this is the light cargo pet barrier for the LC300. Uh, really handy for organizing the back of your vehicle, stopping stuff from spilling into the passenger area. Now the beauty of this barrier here, it's really quick to remove and install. Um, to remove is literally just undo the knobs at the top, lift out your headrest and the barrier comes out. So um, let's get going and see how to install this. This LC300 grab handle is actually not bolted into the roof. It's actually only clipped into the roof. And we find this is typical for the newer Toyota vehicles. So what we need to do is we need to remove this grab handle and we need to install a captive nut in behind there so we can mount our accessories to it. So uh, what we'll do, we'll show you how to remove this handle and show you our solution. These handles can be a bit tricky to remove. Uh, they're clipped in behind these covers. So grab a a small screwdriver with a flat head because there's a little recess there you can get the screwdriver in and what we're trying to do is we're trying to pry this cover off it can be a bit tricky so i pull forward and out as well to to sort of get it off the little tabs and i've got that corner off and what i want to do is then get the screwdriver up the top and pull the other side off and that comes off like that and now we need to do the other side Now, I've done this many times, so I make it look easy, but it can be quite frustrating. There you go. That's come out. Now, inside here, it's hard to see, but there's some metal clips there. So you want to just pull those metal clips in, and that pops it out. And we'll do the same on this side. Now, we also want to remove these metal clips. Just squeeze them and pull them out. Now that we've got the handle off, just want to have a talk about what is actually in the roof here. And all we have is this rectangular opening. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, somehow hold uh, a nut or a captive nut in behind there. Uh, so I'll show you what we've come up with to be able to put a little M6 threaded nut in the back of that. What we have here is the same opening that's in the uh, roof of the car that we just had a look at. Um, what we need to do is we need to get an M6 threaded nut in the back. So our system consists of an M6 nut block and a retainer. This nut block has uh, some spigots there that fit into the slot that we've got in the roof there. And what we need to do is we can install this without taking the car apart. We need to put this nut block through, rotate it, so that it sits in there nicely. But then we also need to clip this retainer in. Now, that's the final result we want. We've got an M6 nut held up in the roof, but we need to show you how we do that. Let's have a closer look at this uh, solution or this system. We've got the M6 nut block, we've got the TPU retainer, and then we've got the little M6 bolt here that we're gonna use as a tool to install this. So what we need to do is we need to assemble it in, in this fashion. We've got the retainer there with the M6 nut block and make sure that the, the, the spigots there face the retainer. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So that's the opening in the roof. We're going to pass, pass the nut block through, rotate it 90 degrees so that we can pull it up against that opening. You can see there's two gaps there for the, the prongs of the retainer to sit in. Push this through while we're pulling back on the bolt. So push one side in, that's clipped in. Now while you're pulling back on this, clip the other side in as well. And pull, make sure it's seated nicely. And you can sort of see that if you pull back on it, the prongs hold the nut in place. And then what we do, we unwind the M6 bolt and there you go. The nut is retained up in the roof. Okay, we're back in the car. We've got our retainer threaded on our, our tool or our bolt. And then we've got the M6 nut block with the spigots facing towards the retainer. Now we should be able to pass that, retain, that nut block through the gap in the roof. We want to turn it 90 degrees and we want to seat those spigots there. So that's where we want it to be. We need to retain it. 
Now, while pulling back on this bolt, you want to clip the retainer in. So start on one side first, while you pull back on it, and then clip the other side as well. So that one, make sure it's seated nicely. Just pull back on that, make sure it's nice and square. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's all held in place. And just wind the bolt back out. And as you can see, the nut's sitting up in the roof now. Now that we've got all our captive nuts installed up in our roof there, we're going to install the brackets first, the handle brackets. Now these are handed. We want the one with the nut set facing forward. So grab the handle, make sure the nut, that nut set is facing forward and just grab some M6 bolts and attach them to the roof. Okay. We'll tighten these up now. No need to go too crazy, just nice and firm. Next thing to do, headrest brackets. These are really easy. Just pull out your headrests, slide them over the top, and just put them back in place. That gives you your little M10 mount for the barrier. Do both sides. Now grab the barrier, make sure the warning labels are facing backwards. We've got some M10 button heads and the washer, and we'll just loosely install those first. That'll hold the barrier in place so we can get the other brackets attached. Now we've got our barrier brackets here that attach the barrier to the handle brackets. Now you'll notice there's a left and a right. Now the left one's got a little notch on it, so that goes on the left of the barrier and the right one doesn't. So grab the right brackets and we'll go and install these. We attach the barrier bracket to the barrier with using an M6 bolt and washer. Uh, it just goes through this slot here. And then we just want to attach it to the bracket. Make sure you got the right one. This side here, the right hand side, is the one without the slot, the notch on the top. Okay, I just want to loosely attach that because there's some adjustment there. We've got adjustment here for the different sort of positions of the seat. So that looks about right there. So we've got a, a knob with a wave washer there. So let's just loosely install everything first and then we'll adjust everything later. Okay, now we've got everything in place. We've got all the brackets and everything uh, attached. We can adjust the position of the brackets so they look nice and level. So that looks all good. And what we can do now is we can go around and tighten everything up. So you've got your Allen head bolts here. It might be easy if I get, get to it from the other side, but you get the idea. And then tighten up your little thumb knobs. So barrier's all in place. The nice thing about this barrier is it's really quick to remove. So just undo your M10 knobs up the top here on both sides, lift out your headrests, and the whole barrier will come out. Just leave the handle brackets up in the roof. So when you need it again, just do the reverse, position the barrier, put the headrest brackets back in, and just attach it back to the brackets with the M10 knobs. So it's all in, not too hard to get in. It's even easier and quicker to take out. Just pull out the headrests, undo the bolts at the, the, the thumb knobs at the top. The pattern in the, the barrier makes it really easy to fit other accessories and on the topic of accessories, this barrier is compatible with our other uh, accessories for the LC300 being the shelf and the mollies. So there you go, that's a light cargo barrier for the LC300.